at CNH Industrial Reman. Our remanufactured engines are assembled by trained technicians to be as good as new or even better. Unlike rebuilt engines where only failed components are addressed, we replace and repair every component to avert potential issues. Our state-of-the-art technique uses advanced manufacturing systems that provide unequaled control, creating a better product. Throughout the process, technicians follow precise control plans and work instructions per engine family. This maintains the product's integrity and guarantees repeatability, which in turn ensures consistency, the key to producing quality products. Technicians fill out responsibility sheets and operator sign-offs with a checklist of every required measurement and completed step. This ensures quality through heightened accountability. We start with a process called kitting. New components are sourced from our warehouse and loaded onto a rolling cart that travels with the engine. This helps us track and regulate every step and component to make sure every engine has the right parts for the job. The engine block is secured to a motorized engine stand, allowing it to easily glide through each of the five stations in the assembly line. At station one, the technician plugs external oil galleys, installs bearings in the block, and inserts the crankshaft. A twin spindle DC torque tool suspended on an ergo arm allows the technician to easily and accurately tighten the main cap bolts and secure the crankshaft with unparalleled precision. Bolts are torqued at the same time to the same measurement to prevent a cantilever load on the bolts and on the crankshaft. At station two, the technician installs pistons, rods, and the camshaft. The twin spindle torque tool ensures the rod bolts are accurately torqued. This best-in-class technology removes the potential for human error as it alerts the technician when the exact torque setting has been achieved, ensuring precision and accuracy every time. At station three, the technician installs the oil pump, the front cover gasket, and the front cover. The front seal, rear housings, camshaft gear, and the injection pump gear immediately follow. The technician records the gear lash on all gears for proper specifications. Finally, the flywheel housing is installed. At station four, the technician installs the cylinder head, sets the valves, and mounts the rocker cover and gasket. The oil pan and pickup tube are installed and torqued. After the station, the engine goes through rigorous air decay testing that checks for leaks in the oil, water, and fuel systems. The block is pumped to 3 PSI for the oil side, 15 PSI for the water side, and 30 PSI for the fuel side. A state-of-the-art machine performs a pass-fail test to ensure there are no leaks out of the engine block. For a basic engine, also known as a long block, a spin test is also administered to measure oil and crankcase pressure, RPM, vibration, and rotational drag. Once the engine passes the spin test, it goes to the paint booth. At this point, long block engines are complete. However, engines that have been trimmed with top end parts such as fuel lines, pumps, injectors, and pulleys go through another round of rigorous testing. The air decay test is repeated to check for fuel leaks. A dynamometer tests oil pressure, exhaust temperature, horsepower, water and oil circulation, and overall functionality, validating all performance parameters. The engine is then completely lubricated, giving it robust protection during storage and shipment. Once the engine passes this stage, it also goes to the paint booth, where it receives a fresh coat of paint to look as good as it will perform. As you can see, there is a high standard of quality that sets our reman engines apart from engines that are merely rebuilt or repaired. Our state-of-the-art techniques and unequaled quality control is built into every step, giving dealerships and customers true peace of mind. Today, there are more reasons than ever to choose remanufactured parts from CNH Industrial Reman.